A Maryland police officer stops a vehicle for speeding at around three in the morning. The car has three occupants. While the driver retrieves the registration, the officer notices a large amount of cash in the glove box and gets consent from the driver to search the vehicle. In the back seat, behind the center armrest, the officer finds cocaine in small baggies that's consistent with drug distribution. All three occupants deny ownership of the drugs. Who does the officer have probable cause to arrest in this scenario? In this week's video, we'll discuss Marilyn versus Pringle, a 2003 United States Supreme Court case that answers this exact question. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney with ASCOPS in Arizona. In the scenario I just gave, the officer chose to arrest all three occupants of the car. The front passenger, Pringle, was convicted of possession with intent to distribute cocaine and possession of cocaine. And Pringle was sentenced to 10 years without the possibility of parole. Pringle fought the convictions and the Maryland State Court of Appeals overturned them. The Maryland Appeals Court held that without specific facts tending to show Pringle's knowledge and dominion or control over the drugs, the mere finding of cocaine in the back armrest when Pringle was a front seat passenger in a car being driven by its owner was insufficient to establish probable cause for his arrest for possession. The issue was brought before the United States Supreme Court. Now remember, there was no doubt that when the officer discovered the cocaine, he had probable cause to believe that a felony had been committed. So the question was, did the officer have probable cause to believe Pringle had committed that crime? The United States Supreme Court reversed and restored the conviction, holding, as it is an entirely reasonable inference from the facts here that any or all of the car's occupants had knowledge of and exercised dominion and control over the cocaine, a reasonable officer could conclude that there was probable cause to believe Pringle committed the crime of possession of cocaine, either solely or jointly. Pringle's attempt to characterize this as a guilt by association case is unavailing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications as it really does help my channel grow. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Stephen J. Serbalik Esquire. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.